Welcome to a presentation of Jenga Extension. I am Laura Guevara, Managing Partner of Left Writers LLC. My partner in this development company is Dorothy Huang. Jenga Extension is designed to be an add-on to Jenga, a registered trademark of Poconobi Associates, manufactured by Irwin Toys and distributed by Hasbro. Extension is copyright Left Writers LLC. Jenga Extension came into fruition one summer when our nephews wanted to play Jenga with us. After a series of games, nine-year-old Steve and six-year-old Alex needed more challenge, difficulty, and excitement. Dot, Steve, Alex, and I realized there is a need for a jazzed-up version of Jenga, hence the emergence of Jenga Extension. Our objectives are to rev up the excitement level of Jenga, especially for children who need to visualize the goal of a game, to give the game more variety, to speed up the pace of the game, and to inject an element of chance, seeing as skill plays a large part in Jenga. In order to achieve these objectives, we introduced four new elements, a scoreboard, markers, a stacking cube and stacking patterns, and a number cube. The scoreboard is the physical manifestation of the goal that players often need when playing a game. With it, players can see where they are in the game in relation to the other players. The players advance around the scoreboard with a goal to be the first to reach the finish line. The markers represent the players and are what they move around the scoreboard. The stacking cube and the stacking patterns make the game more exciting by giving it variety. Jenga extension is then dynamic and unpredictable. The number cube speeds up the game by dictating the number of blocks to be removed and restacked at a time. Also, it introduces the element of luck to Jenga. Let me show you how to play Jenga extension. The first game begins with the blocks arranged in the regular Jenga fashion or the 3x3 three three stacking pattern. Each player chooses a marker and positions it onto the scoreboard. Whoever rolls the highest number on the number cube starts, and the game proceeds clockwise. On their turn, each player rolls the number cube, and the number rolled is the number of blocks that the player must remove and restack onto the tower. Whoever topples the tower is the loser in that round, and the loser's marker does not advance on the scoreboard. The player before the loser is the winner and advances their marker two spaces. All other players advance their markers one space. To start the next round, the winner rolls the stacking cube to determine the next pattern. The tower is then restacked using the stacking pattern illustration cards as a guide. There are six stacking patterns. The 3x3, three three, which is the regular Jenga stacking pattern. The 3x5. The 5x5. Five the 3 and 1. The 3 and 2. And the donut. The first player to cross the finish line wins. We have been playing with a Jenga extension prototype which uses the race car theme. Perhaps the best feature of Jenga extension is that it can be applied to many different themes. It can be applied to many animated storylines. For instance, Jenga Princess Extension is for girls, with the winner being the one who reaches the castle and Prince Charming first. Animated characters from Disney, Warner Brothers, and Looney Tunes offer numerous other possibilities. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is another theme which targets older children. The object here is to reach Hogwarts first before being subjected to the Dementors. Production of this version in time with the release of the movie based on the third Harry Potter book would be ideal. Another movie that could easily apply to Jenga extension is Star Wars. To target the sports fan is the NFL version. This, as well as any sports-based Jenga extension, introduces the concept of team play. Multiple players make up a team, and in this case, the teams must score a touchdown first to win. I hope I have successfully illustrated the huge potential of expanding Jenga to a more exciting, challenging, and engaging level. I am certain that Jenga Extension will benefit Hasbro by reviving interest in and thereby increasing sales of Jenga. It also provides Hasbro the opportunity to create countless possible versions, thereby turning Jenga into a franchise with less cost than building another game from scratch. This concludes my presentation today. In behalf of my partners, 
Thank you for this opportunity to present to you Jenga Extension.